Hello Techies, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we are discussing about Excel Advanced Package in Automation A360. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. So in this session, we will discuss how we can create a new workbook or new Excel using Excel Advanced feature. So in every project, we will use the Excel commands in our projects, right? So how we can create the Excel workbook instantly at the runtime? So this is the question. We will discuss it here. So we have an Excel advanced. So if you type it here, Excel advanced in action panel, you will get the Excel advanced package, right? So in the Excel advanced, we have a create workbook. If you see it here, this is the one create workbook. So just I'm drag and dropping this create workbook. And first thing is we have to give the file path. So where we need to create the workbook, right? So I will take one path from the local sorry, in the file path and I will give it as a output output dot XLSX. And here one more thing we have to observe. So this Excel advanced create workbook, we can actually create not only workbook, we can create Excel SM file, we can create Excel S file, Excel SX file and CSV file. So th this may be the one of the interview question. Can we create a Excel SM file using A360? Yes, we can create an Excel SM file and we can create an Excel SX also, we can create CSV also from create workbook, right? Please make sure it should be remember. So what is the sheet name you want to give it? This is the optional, but still I will give it as a output, output test. Okay, so sheet name, you can give it, file path, you can give it with the name of the file, right? After that, you want to give the password to open to the particular sheet so that we can use here password to open password to edit to after create if you want to add the password so this is very important in the sum of the projects so that's why i will take insecure string you can take it from credential or you can take it from the variable also but as of now for the demo purpose i am taking as an insecure string so my password for this particular Excel is output. Okay, just I'm giving output for everything, but make sure this should be a correct one. And password to edit. If you want to edit the particular, what you call particular workbook, then you can give the pass password. That also I will give it as output. Okay, and create session name. You can give it anything from the global global session also and variable also. And I'm taking a local session and default and I'm saving and now if I run this bot so my file will create and how it will be look so we will see so I have taken here Excel SX right Excel so same way you can take it CSV or Excel SM also I hope Excel SM feature you know so if you want to know the Excel SM feature I can say in that we can run the Excel macros right we can use it for Excel SM so here my output file is created just I will close it so now we will see just I'm opening manually I'm opening see now it is asking a password what is the password I have used output right and it is asking me to read read only now it will open as a read only if you want to add it then you have to give output otherwise you can use a read only right so just I'm giving OK. So now it is open so you can do anything. So like this in a fraction of second, you can have the this code, right? You can add the password. You can add the password for the read and write mode, right? So this is very Im important feature. It is very important feature for RPA project. You can use it anywhere in your project. I hope you have understand the logic, please. Subscribe to the my channel for more and more video like this. Thank you very much. Happy learning.